What's going on, everybody? Switchfoot Clan here today, and welcome to Wager Match Wednesday. Today we have an epic Sticks and Stones gameplay where Nathan, or in Soccer Guy 196, absolutely blows away the all the other opponents in this game. And as you know, Wager Match Wednesday always has an interesting topic. And today I found one in, on a forum, on a Call of Duty forum, and it was like. Is Call of Duty afraid of change? Are the creators of Call of Duty afraid of change for this Call of Duty series that has been around for years and years and years? Is it afraid of change? And I, when I first read this, I was like, well, yeah, they're afraid of change because there, there's the same kind of feel to every single Call of Duty. We know what we're expecting. You know, there's always a few new things that, you know, spicing it up. And I think Black Ops 2 did a really good job of new things versus keeping the old as well. Because, you know, you can't... Sh the worst thing that you could possibly do as a game creator is change the game so much that you just piss everybody off. You know, you're making it to like, oh my gosh! Like, what did you do to this game? It's not Call of Duty anymore. And I think that Black Ops 2 probably did the best. And the worst game was Modern Warfare 3. That game did not change a single thing. And it just annoyed the crud out of me. But I think, you know, I was like, well, yeah, I would. I saw some comments. And, you know, I'm just kind of going to quote. But I also agreed with this. Like, people were saying, well, they don't have to change. They're making millions of dollars each and every year why did they need to change you know they're probably almost made a billion dollars this year on black ops 2 and that's with all the dlcs and stuff that, that people buy they're gonna you know that's a billion dollars a year for this company why would they need to change they're not having any problems with sales or anything and i was like well yeah that makes sense why would you change you know if i was making 80 million dollars a year off my video game and it's one of the most highly sponsored and endorsed games probably in the whole entire gaming community. Probably really close with Halo and Battlefield 3 and all those. You know, I'm not I'm not saying Call of Duty's, you know, superior over to everything. But why would you need to change? And that becomes you have to. You can't leave the game the same or you get a bad rep. Let let's let's be honest here. Treyarch, everybody likes Treyarch a little more than Activision. Just because we feel Treyarch makes better games. Why? Because they try to change the game for the consumer. They're not going to throw this whole game into a whole new series, but they're tweaking it. They add things. They improve upon their last game, and that's what makes these games so much more fun. It's because they're willing to to change certain aspects of it but you know everybody has this one part in the back of their heart of their call of duty soul that they're like do not and i promise you do not leave that from the game or i'm not buying it and everybody knows what that is mine right now is probably c4 do not take c4 out of this game or any of the next call of duty generations because that's my favorite thing right there is throwing c4 and just absolutely annihilating people also you know and then there's some things that people just completely despise that they want to get rid of the game that the game developers I believe and honestly are trying to fix but one thing which I'm going to bring up that I don't feel like they fix is the spawns they never fix the spawns why is that I don't feel like it it's that hard to fix but for some reason every single Call of Duty seems to have that same recurring problem and so back to the initial question are the game developers of Call of Duty afraid of change? I think partially yes. I'd be afraid too because there's only it only takes one or two things to make a whole entire community fall into shambles. And I've seen it you've seen it before in other, you know, series where people try to, you know, mess with other things and that's when you usually get screwed. I'm not going to lie. Usually that's going to lead you to a bad ending and a bad path and it's just going to mess up the whole entire gaming community so thank you guys for listening to this please tell me what you guys think about do you think the game developers of call of duty are afraid of change 
I don't think they are, but I think they do. It's kind of a halfway. So thank you guys for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. Two videos you might have missed. We've got our two is one where we get two load stars on one on or like dual screen. It's pretty cool. As well as messing around Monday where I get a 16 and one gameplay on Search and Destroy. So if you're interested in any of those, please click on the links down below. And have a great, wonderful rest of the day.